I'm spending about 20 to 30 minutes every night massaging my wife. Why? It's a spiritual act. Because sometimes I'm tired, I don't feel like massaging. My wife doesn't know that. She, knows, she thinks that I'm always eager to massage her, but I'm not. I'm human. I'm tired. I don't want to do it sometimes, right? But I have to go beyond that. I have to show my love. When I do it, by the way, I feel better. Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. Welcome back to Holistic Diabetic Foot Ulcers Cure Series. So what do we do now? We continue with our spiritual exercise. We not only forgave somebody and then was grateful about something that happened that day, but now I have to do even more strongest spiritual exercise. One is called heart lock-in exercise. I can do a whole video series about your heart. I learned a lot about uh, new science about heart, how heart is actually controlling your brain, not brain con controlling your heart. It's the other way around. And it's 5,000 times stronger electromagnetically than your brain. So heart is the strongest organ of the body. We have to use and exercise our heart. I know we do pumping exercises, we do sit-ups, and we do all kinds of different things to physically get exercise. But also most important is to get your heart to be exercised. Your heart is pumping literally 100,000 times a day, 3 billion times in your lifetime. It's without rest. So it needs to relax a little bit. And one of the ways to do it is this hot locking exercise. How do we do it? We close your eyes and you think of somebody is so easy to love. Let's say either my wife or my son. And then I imagine that person and by breathing out from your, not from your mouth, breathing out from your heart, I'm sending out love to them. And then keep sending out love, keep sending out love by breathing, imagining and keep sending out love by closing your eyes. When you do that, your heart relaxes, heart fills with joy and peace and love. When you do that, your heart improves. This is a part that a lot of people are not talking about. They're talking about physical heart. You know, it needs to pump well, you need to keep the blood pressure down, you have to take the medication, you have to exercise and all of that. But what's more important to give heart more exercise, even stronger exercise, is to send out love, send out joy, send out peace. All the spiritual activities that you do through your heart, when you do this, your heart becomes so much stronger. So that's called heart lock-in exercise. I highly recommend you do that uh, before you go to sleep. Also, I've been massaging my wife for 21 years. We've been married for 21 years, uh, except we had to travel somewhere where it was impossible for me to massage her. She loves my foot massage. I've got this new gun. I've been using the gun these days so much better because I don't have to massage as much, but she loves the gun, thank God. So I don't have to do as much, but still, I'm spending about 20 to 30 minutes every night massaging my wife. Why? It's a spiritual act. Because sometimes I'm tired, I don't feel like massaging. My wife doesn't know that. She, knows, she thinks that I'm always eager to massage her, but I'm not. I'm human. I'm tired. I don't want to do it sometimes, right? But I have to go beyond that. I have to show my love. When I do it, by the way, I feel better, actually. After all, as a, as a masseuse, feels good as, as, the, as the person who's getting the massage as well. So this is a spiritual act. And sometimes I'm massaging with all my might. And my wife goes, honey, what did you do wrong? Right? Because <laughs> when I did something wrong, I try to make up for it and do even stronger massage, I guess. So that's a little funny story, but that's what happens. And it's a very important thing. Whatever you pick, it's fine. Whatever you do to improve your marriage and your relationship, you have to work at it and you have to be spiritual about it. Why? Because you cannot be emotional about it or you, you cannot be physical about it. Why? Because you, sometimes you're too tired and sometimes you don't feel good, whatever. And that you need to overcome through this spiritual exercise. And then this is how I prepare myself for the, for the deep sleep of the night. I'm getting my room ready. The light you have to have a blackout curtains. You cannot have just a little screen that, you know, six, seven o'clock in the morning, the light comes through because then you, you'll be awake. So you have to have a blackout curtains, dim the light like this all the time, way before you go to sleep. And then I try to use infrared sauna. I have an infrared sauna at home. It's really a strong, relaxing, uh, you know, health-giving infrared light sauna. And also I use vitamin D light. I didn't talk a whole lot about light therapy. Remember I told you about 
my first thing in the morning I get the full spectrum light on to get the deepest sleep at night I use vitamin D light it's in, right in front of my desk and I shine that throughout the day because why I need more vitamin D I need more blue light but I'm not outside that much when I'm working so it's important to get the vitamin D so I get the vitamin D light and I use infrared sauna to get the red light it's a it's a red light underneath the red light called infrared light and this is a light therapy that I do to give more energy relax me more so that get the deepest sleep at night we're about halfway through my bedtime deep deep sleep rituals if you enjoy this video so far or learn something new leave the word bedtime rituals in my comments below if you'd like me to elaborate and go deeper into a specific topic please write tell me more about blank such as grounding or heart locking exercise then I will soon make a video on that topic for you be sure to also give this video a thumbs up temperature has to be a little bit cooler 60 to 69 whichever is comfortable but it cannot be a hot uh, a bedroom it has to be a little cool you get the good blanket you feel good and fresh sound I use earplugs a lot because I found out that I'm very sensitive to noise so I was waking up a lot in the morning you know sometimes you want to sleep in a little but it was getting loud with the birds you know singing and whatnot so I use an earplug that really gets me to much better sleep at nighttime and you can also use a pink uh, or white noise like a water dropping you know uh, raining kind of noise you can you can buy buy those clock that has those right so you use that I use my uh, uh, um, the, the air cleaner and that makes a little noise and it's consistent noise almost like a pink or white nose we call it and the breathing one of the really key to getting the sleep is not to think too much right to get rid of all your thoughts and I learned this in meditation is to focus on your breath when you're breathing and when you are focusing on the breath and you cannot think too much right well you constantly try to think of something so you have to constantly bring your thoughts back into your breathing when you do that you're able to fall asleep a lot better a lot easier it doesn't work all the time but it works about 90 percent of the time for me when i have a lot going on i have a lot of planning i have to do you know you think about a lot of things when i focus on breathing and my breath it really takes all the uh, thinking out of the way and then that really gets me to much uh, deeper sleep also the other thing is called grounding and earthing this is a whole another topic that i can talk about but grounding is very important when you when you put the three prong plugs against the wall the third one at the, the one that uh, on its own that's called grounding without that you will be electrocuted right because and then when you're sleeping what you didn't you didn't you didn't turn the whole lights off the whole house so electricity is still flowing that affects your brainwave because electricity is a lot stronger than your brainwave it messes your brainwave that's why a lot of people can't sleep at night is it's too much electricity especially before you go to sleep you're looking at the phone you're constantly with the phone you're, you're always looking at the phone and that light's coming up that thing is stronger than your brain and that messes up your brainwave which is really bad in addition to that you got this you got the computer and then you got the uh, seating you know all that electricity is still going on so you need to be grounding in a daily basis how do I do it I use grounding pads you can easily buy it online you can have it right in front of your desk when you put that your hand right on it all the electricity coming out from your your computer completely knocks out to zero I use a little electrometer to measure those it's nothing all the electricity is really bad for your brain makes you more stressed out makes you gain weight all of that right so this is really good I also use a grounding pad for my sleep and my bed I have it right on my foot so I'm my foot is right on it to ground myself so that I'm not being electrocuted in a daily basis while I'm sleeping too unless you're turning down the entire electricity which is not possible so I use grounding pad is very important to really relax you and get you the best sleep possible and then number one cause of not being able to sleep well is stress we talked about a lot of stress going on in your brain a lot of thoughts going through uh, they say we we think of about 50,000 different thoughts every day 50,000 unfortunately we're all thinking about the same thing keep repeating 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 but with 50,000 thoughts every day that's a lot going on in your brain so it's very important to reduce your stress to get the biggest deepest sleep at nighttime which is physical stress 
We're eating a lot of processed food, caffeine, a lot of medication we're taking, we're drinking alcohol. These are all the physical things that really stretch your body and not able to relax at nighttime to get better sleep. Also, exercising too late and a lot of, you know, your beds, your pillows, there are a lot of things that's causing the problem as well. Emotional stress of dealing with people, fear, anger, rejection, anxiety. It's, it's a huge problem dealing with a lot of emotions with people and these stresses are causing uh, your insomnia problem at nighttime. Insomnia is like 50 to 70, even 90% of people uh, have insomnia problem. So this is a huge problem that we need to overcome. If you'd like to receive my daily one minute wellness messages, please sign up at 1mwellness.com. Remember, it only takes one minute to read. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.